Here's a very simple one. I'm sure you've all seen those effects where you basically put water inside the speaker and then turn the speaker on and at different frequencies it produces beautiful patterns on top of the water. Well, this is effectively the same thing, except we'll be producing lots of them, lots of little ones. Now, I vary the lengths of the tubes, originally in the hope that this will produce slightly different resonances in each tube and produce different effects at the same frequencies or combinations of frequencies. But, uh, it turned out that this is already probably the maximum height I want, and I, my, my minimum was actually should have been my maximum. So, next time I'll make them extremely short, and the effect should be better. I screwed this one up as I was playing with it, so I've just blocked it off for now. Now the beautiful thing about this design is unlike some of my other designs where I use speakers, this time the technology does not interfere hardly at all with the sound coming out of the speaker. So the speaker can still be used to provide the sound for the room. Whereas before I'd have to use small speakers to make sure that I could overpower them with the real music and just keep the noise to a minimum. Now what they do is they project straight up, but of course you can bend them a little. You could actually have them at sharp angles and just make sure that the water's surface area does, it doesn't ever, or the, that the water doesn't spill out. But uh, the problem with that then becomes, um, the reason I've got the water all right up to the tip is because as soon as it hits the water surface, it's going to start diffracting and bending. And then if it hits the walls of the, um, of the acrylic, you're not going to have a dynamic effect. It's kind of just going to be the, pack, the texture of the acrylic. So you want it to escape, you want it to hit the surface of the water and then escape immediately without having to go through too much acrylic tube. Um, and then they just shoot right up here on the roof. You can't see much with the lights on like this. We'll have to turn the lights off. And there you go. And you can see there's three of them up there. And uh, it even looks kind of nice as a, a little display here. Now I've bent some of them off to slightly different angles just so I can play with them on the roof. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's record this and see what it looks like in the camera. Okay, the contrast is a bit hard to see the effect. There's much more detail than you can actually see. Let's try some volume adjustments. And some frequency adjustments. Turn down the bass. Turn up the treble. Okay, you can see they're barely reacting to the treble. I'm really gonna have to um, shorten those tubes. The, the treble's not even getting through much. So, first test works pretty well, uh, but I clearly overshot on the lengths of the acrylic tubes, which needs to be adjusted for next time. Other than that, the principle works great and it can be done up a whole bunch of ways. I imagine I can add a whole ton of lasers to it and produce a nice, nice uh, texture show with it.